Kidney stones, also known as renal calculi or nephrolithiasis, have become increasingly common worldwide. It is mostly the result of the traditional Western diet we follow. A kidney stone is made up of waste products or chemicals like calcium, oxalate, or uric acid in your urine. When there is too much waste and too little fluid, the waste can begin to crystallize and develop into a solid stone that is passed out of the body when you urinate. Greetings, and welcome to Lively Living Tips, your go-to source for daily tips on maintaining a vibrant and healthy lifestyle. Join us on this journey to discover valuable insights that will allow you to sustain a lively living. If you've ever had a kidney stone, you undoubtedly recall the experience. The excruciating pain can be unbearable, which comes in waves until the tiny stone passes through your urinary system and out of the body. The bad news is that people who have had kidney stones in the past have a 50% probability of developing another within the next 15 years. Luckily, many risk factors for recurring kidney stones are within our control, and small changes in your diet can make a significant difference. We have gathered few science-backed lifestyle adjustment tips for you today, that might help you to prevent forming kidney stones. Number one, drink more water. According to researchers, drinking enough liquid, mainly water is the most crucial thing you can do to prevent kidney stones. Many medical professionals recommend to drink enough fluids to pass two liters of urine a day, or drink six to eight ounce glasses of water per day. This will dilute your urine and prevent crystallization of waste products that can lead to kidney stones. Whether from exercise or the heat of summer, sweating leads to reduced urine production. The more you sweat, the less you will urinate, which allows for stone-forming minerals to settle and bind in the kidneys and urinary tract. Number two, eat fewer oxalate-rich food. Oxalate is a natural compound found in some foods. When you eat oxalate, it typically binds to calcium in the intestine and leaves the body in stool. But if there is high amount of oxalate and not enough calcium to bind to, it will be absorbed into the bloodstream and end up in the urine, where it can form into a calcium oxalate stone, which is the most common type of kidney stone. Some examples of foods that contain high levels of oxalate include peanuts, potatoes, rhubarb, spinach, beets, pumpkins, and chocolates. A common misconception is that cutting the oxalate-rich foods in your diet alone will reduce the likelihood of forming kidney stones. This approach isn't smart from an overall health perspective as they contain other beneficial ingredients. Moderating intake of these foods may be beneficial for people to avoid forming calcium oxalate stones. It is important to eat and drink calcium and oxalate-rich foods together during a meal. In doing so, oxalate and calcium are more likely to bind to one another in the stomach and intestines before the kidneys begin processing making it less likely that kidney stones will form. So drink milk after you eat spinach, oats, or breads. Number three, get enough calcium. Sufficient intake of calcium in your diet lowers the concentration of oxalate in the urine, so there is less chance it can bind to urinary calcium and more likely to be cleared from your body with stool. This leads to decreased risk of kidney stones. Some calcium-rich food includes milk, cheese, fish with soft bones that you eat, tofu, almonds, and leafy green vegetables. The recommended adult intake of calcium is 1,000 mg per day, increasing to 1,200 mg by age 70. Number 4. Cut back sodium intake. When you eat too much salt or sodium, the body will try to get rid of it with the urine. This excreted sodium will take calcium along with it, causing calcium levels to drop. This may lead to accumulation of oxalate in urine, resulting in a kidney stone. Adults are recommended to consume not more than 2,300 milligrams or roughly one teaspoon of sodium every day. Number five, limit animal protein. High protein diets can increase your risk of kidney stones. Animal protein can raise uric acid levels, increasing the risk of uric acid stones, and also promotes the elimination of calcium in your urine, increasing the risk of calcium oxalate stones. Beef is considered the major contributor of kidney stones. A 2022 study reports that the overconsumption of red meat increases the risk of kidney stones by 39%. Chicken and other poultry can also contribute to kidney stone, while fish is a less likely to cause harm. You can eat protein-rich plant-based foods like beans, lentils, nutritional yeast, 
and spirulina, which are not associated with kidney stones. Number six, avoid vitamin C supplements. Even though vitamin C or ascorbic acid is beneficial to your health, taking too many vitamin C supplements may increase your risk of kidney stones. This is because oxalate is produced in the liver during the metabolization of vitamin C. Researchers say that men who took high doses of vitamin C supplements doubled their risk of forming a kidney stone. They don't believe vitamin C from food carries the same risk. Number seven, maintain a good health. Kidney stones are strongly associated with hypertension. Studies have shown that people with high blood pressure have more than 20% excretion of uric acid, calcium, and oxalate in urine compared to people with normal blood pressure. Treating this high blood pressure may help reduce the risk of kidney stones. Obesity is also associated with an increased risk of kidney stones. Studies show that over 50% of people with obesity will experience kidney stones in their lives. Apple cider vinegar is a folk remedy still used today to help treat kidney stones. It contains acetic acid, which alters the pH of urine and prevents the crystallization of minerals. Concentrated lime juice also does the same. Eat fewer meals and beverages with added sugar, especially those that include high fructose corn syrup. Alcohol should be used in moderation as it might raise blood uric acid levels. To conclude, we can say, maintaining kidney health is important to your overall health and general well-being. Adopting science-backed lifestyle adjustments like staying well hydrated, moderating the intake of oxalate-rich foods, ensuring sufficient calcium in the diet, reducing salt intake, limiting animal protein consumption, avoiding excessive vitamin C supplements, and maintaining good overall health by avoiding the triggers are essential for the prevention of kidney stones. By keeping your kidneys healthy, your body will filter and expel waste properly and produce hormones to help your body function properly. So what are the mentioned tips you can start to follow from today? Subscribe and stay with us for a continuous stream of expert advice to elevate your daily living and embark on a path to a healthier you.